Today, we are continuing our road trip, and if you guys watched the last video, you'd see we drove 30 hours from Los Angeles to Minnesota, and y'all, let's just say, it was pretty eventful. We've been on the road for about three hours now. We have yep. 24 hours left. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I ain't signed up for this. <laughs> about to go higher. <laughs> now it's time for a new adventure and we have drove nine hours away from minnesota and made it to mount rushmore in south dakota now neither one of us have ever done this before so grab your popcorn and let's get ready to explore stay tuned We are officially at Mount Rushmore, baby. And we just drove all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota, my hometown, nine hours to get here. So you know we about to enjoy it. Even in my down times, I can get you out of my mind, sorry. I can get you out of my days Just to find you in my way. All right, so as y'all can see, we're at Mount Rushmore right now. Now listen, I'm gonna give y'all a little fun fact about me. Ever since I was a kid, I used to watch the movie Richie Rich. Ever since then, I used to want to come here to Mount Rushmore. Mount Richmore? Oh, I said we needed a family portrait, Regina. But this? That's probably way back for a lot of people, but people around our age demographic, 80s, 90s babies, early 90s. Ever since then, I always wanted to come here. So without further ado, there's a path on the side. We're gonna walk it, go up it, get as close to it as possible, because you can't go all the way up there, obviously. But I do want to tell y'all, 90% of this was made by explosives. Wow, not somebody out there carving it with a hand like you'd think. 90% explosives. Let's go. Now, whether you have traveled down to South Dakota to see this monument for yourself or seen it on your television screen, it's safe to say most people are familiar with this landmark, but little really know the real history behind it. Construction took place from 1927 to 1941, taking over 14 years to complete. The sculpture consists of four presidents, which are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Now, if you ask me, the only president they're missing now is Obama, but hey, that's a whole different story for a whole different day. Now, this sculpture does have some controversy around it considering the land that they built the statues on was stolen from the Native Americans. There will later be a monument honoring the Native Americans called the Crazy Horse Memorial, which you will see later on in this video, so stay tuned. To this day, the Native Americans continue to demand the return of the land that was once stolen. So if y'all wondering who this big bobblehead dude is right here. Oh gosh. <laughs> is that OD? This guy right here is the creator of Mount Rushmore. This right here was actually sculpted by his son, Lincoln Bulger. Bo Borglum, I feel like you were Gibraltar. Gibar, how do I say it? Gibraltar. So Gibraltar. Gibraltar. So we got to Gibraltar. So now he's up there with the all time grace because he's the one that created it. So if you find your niche, you can get rich. You're gonna little buddy get this little mustache and everything. Look, I don't know what happened to his eyes, but this was a long time ago. Pretty creative and pretty innovative for the time. And that is Slim's history lesson. And over here are the names of all of the workers that helped sculpt the Mount Rushmore. So there were over 400 workers and all of their names are listed right here. So we got people like Art and, and Little Hoop and Hoop and, and Howdy and we got Ed, Ernie, Matt, Slim. Oh, snap. <laughs> Let me find out. Yeah, RIP. All right, PT, y'all. So we are back at the car, and I would definitely recommend coming early because For sure. it gets very packed out. Y'all see my bed? <laughs> got these under here. These, little foam. She got a full queen-size bed, because this is a queen-size foam. So she got a queen-size bed back here. I was knocked out back here. Yeah, Zeus had his spot up there. He tired, too. <laughs> Zeus boy. He big war out. So we have 19 hours to head back to LA. 19 hours doesn't even sound that bad. Yeah, in comparison to all the road trips we've done. Yeah, like it's like, okay, 19 hours, mm, it's not too bad. If you think about it, if you combine it though, we it's like over 60 hours in driving within a four or five day window. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's insane when you think about it from that perspective, yeah, what that means. It's crazy. Right? Y'all comment down below. Let me know, can you sit in the car for 60 hours? Yeah, Zeus, he must really like and love us too because- Love being in the car. He loves being in the car for that long. Yeah, he does. He just be chilling. When he's ready to get out, he's ready to get out. He has his fun, but he, uh, Zeus, he'll, he loves it. He loves a good car ride. Yeah, he does. It's to the point where we go home, if we grab the keys or we do anything, He's looking forward to getting in, but I'm telling you, he don't never get no better at doing it. He oh, is like a, good job, boy. He's like a hundred-year-old man. 
I told you, he's Benjamin Button. He's a baby, but he's like 100 years old. So in the meantime, we got Jazz's bed back here put up. So that way, uh, her bed don't get dirty. It's a, we low key are figuring out a way to kind of just be on the move with our lives and kind of make it more transitional. So we've tried to come up with a perfect plan before, like when we're um, about to leave, we're like, okay, we're about to do this trip. Let's make sure we got this, 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 and this. And then this, this, and this, because we didn't have that on the last trip, so it's gonna be perfect this time, because we're planning this, this time. And I swear, it's always something that you could improvise or do better more. Even if you plan for months, there's gonna be things you're gonna forget. There's gonna be things that you like, damn, I wish we knew this before we did this. So the best recipe is just to get up and go. Don't count the cost, don't count the time, and just figure it out along the way. Because if you're trying to come up with a perfect plan to execute the perfect plan, guess what? You're gonna keep procrastinating and pushing your travel date back and back and back. There's only certain things that you just will not learn until you just get out there and do it. So without further ado, let's get in. Let's grab these bags and let's go. So most people visit Mount Rushmore and that's where their trip ends. Well, you remember when I said Mount Rushmore was built on stolen land that was originally the Native Americans? Well, there's a monument dedicated to the Native Americans and it's called the Crazy Horse Memorial. It's exactly 17 miles away from Mount Rushmore and the monument honors the principles and values for which the Native Americans stood for. Inside their museum was full of history that showcased the struggles and collections of the Native American culture. This statue has been in progress since 1948 and they estimate that it'll take another 15 or so years to complete. Once completed, Crazy Horse will be the world's second largest sculpture. So you can take a piece of the rock from the monument home with you. It's part of history. It is. This is real rock that you gotta carve. Like, can you imagine trying to carve a face into this rock? Or let alone a mountain. That's crazy. You can take a little piece of uh, history home with you. The magic school bus. Yeah, little Thank school you. bus. Thank you. I welcome you with a warm heart and open hand. My American name is Gary Ashley. My traditional name is Little Elk. Our names will come from one of our direct ancestors. My second great grandmother's name was picked to pass to me in that ceremony. So that's how I got it. They feel confident they can get that top part done in five years. In 15 years, they, they're confident the horse's head will be done. His head is the size of a six story building, 87 and a half feet tall. Now, I get asked this every once in a while. We see this as a symbol for just us, or is it a symbol for all natives? And I tell everybody the truth, it's a symbol for everyone. We should at the very least be a cautionary tale of what the government can be capable of. Number two, stand up and, and fight for your rights. Stand up for yourself, because if you don't, we'll run you over. We're the only tribe in this country that got a case in court because we're the only tribe that refused to sell. 1980, they offered us $105 million in compensation for illegally seizing the Black Hills from us. We refused the money. Now that money has sat in that account to this day untouched. Right now it's $1.48 billion. On my reservation, household income is less than $10,000 per family. We're not poor, we just don't have a lot of money. Kind of think of the Lakota like you would think of Irish, stubborn, hard-headed, and love to fight. <laughs> but it's that stubbornness is why we are, we are who we are. Our sacred sites are not for sale. And they shouldn't be for sale. It's definitely my first time being on a bus since we were kids. <laughs> yeah, that was really dope, man. Thank you. Yeah, that was an amazing tour. And I would definitely recommend this place for anybody if you're in South Dakota or around the way or trying to come to South Dakota. Uh, very nice, sweet people. It was very educational. Like, yeah. Who would have thought it takes that long to make those monuments i feel like a lot of us take it for granted like for you see, sure like, oh, okay cool but it takes years yeah and i think it's cool to get the real history of because everybody just sees mount rushmore right we forget a lot of times or it's not really taught in school like how america was essentially colonized right right and then it was taken and this is big for me because I'm from Minnesota. We have a big Indian Native American population. And one of my best friends that was actually a groomsman at my wedding, James, is Native American. He's full Indian, right? And black too. I, I just thought this was really dope to come here and really take this in. So what we did was we took a picture in front of the monument because they said it would take probably like 15, 30, well, 30 yeah. years to complete. So yeah. 30 years from now, 
We'll be able to see it. Yeah. We'll be able to take our kids there. Exactly. What's up, y'all? So we are back at home, and as you guys can tell, we did not film on our way back. Why didn't we film on our way from back, From South baby? Dakota huh? to LA because we because got what? trapped in a full snowstorm what? the entire way back home. Shout out to my baby for driving. He did an amazing job. We literally prayed the entire way. I'm from Minnesota, y'all. It snows a lot there. So good thing I got the snow driving skills. Yes, it was crazy. Yeah. We've seen a dead body. Yep, rest in peace to him. There were a lot sure. of ambulance, tons of accidents. Semis rolled over, flipped over, crashed, totaled out. It, it was... Man, it was it bad. Was crazy. There was a couple times we almost slid off. Yeah, for sure. It was. It was. When I say crazy, you, you whipping skills, your boy got. Listen, baby, you uh, hey, give me some. You did that. Give me some. I'm a driver's driver, man. For sure, he did that. And for people wondering, I did help driving. Um, I helped hey, like you did about an hour or two. Hour. I did about, yeah, I did on, about two hours. Yeah, on the way back, she did really good. Which I'm funny. Anyway, <laughs> but you guys make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We yeah. have a lot coming for you guys. So, if you haven't watched that last video, make sure you watch it. Make sure you Why watch should it. they do that, baby? Because it was legendary. It was like, the most legendary, wasn't it? We had fun as hell on that I trip. think it was pretty iconic. Yeah, it was. So. And then you ain't catch the whole Europe trip before that. Oh, yeah. Make sure you and check it And then our protection dog, Preston Canario, top make level sure master. Must I keep going? Because we got a yeah. whole litany. We got a whole, like... You foam at me. Okay. I'm like, over here looking like Zeus. Yeah. Whenever you get that drink some water. Anyway, y'all. That's it. That's all. We're going to yeah. catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay tuned. And comment down below. We will catch you guys later. Peace.